What's going on guys? TTL here. Today I'm going to be going over my top five MLB and NFL plays today. It's going to be one MLB play with four NFL. Uh, thank you guys for all the support on the videos lately. Before we do get started, I do want to mention if you aren't signed up for the Patreon, you can go get seven days for free until tonight at midnight. So tonight at midnight is the start of the League of Legends World Championships. Um, if you don't know, that's where my roots are. I've played League for about 9, 10 years now. So have a ton of knowledge. I've been watching Pro Play for like 6 or 7 years now. And um, been doing prize picks for over a year and a half now when they first came out with it. So go ahead and join up, guys. Again, it's free for 7 days. It's usually $20 a month. After that 7-day free trial, it will be $20 a month starting afterwards. But you get to try 7 days completely free. There's no like commitment necessary. You just get seven days for free. So highly recommend it, guys. You get my complete prize picks, underdog, and sleeper slips for every sport. You get sports book bets for every sport. We do VIP only live streams and watch parties, VIP only giveaways that you can enter. We have just tons of value for that $20 a month. And right now you get seven days for free. So highly recommend signing up, guys. Um and let's just get into these picks. So um, if you aren't signed up for underdog, I recommend doing that as well. So if you're going to be in VIP, especially make sure you're signed up for at least prize picks and underdog. I highly recommend sleeper as well. Um, those are the three apps I play on. And then I play on thunder pick for my sports book. But um, that's what I recommend having. Obviously, if you just play on prize picks, feel free to try the free trial as well. But I do post on every single app every single day. And if you're new to it, you can use code TTL and get a 100% deposit match. But let's get into these picks, guys. I know we've been waiting. We're going to go over the one MLB pick beforehand. Um, first off, I will say I do like one pick for tomorrow. But um, I'm not going to put it in this video. It's Max Freed. Over four and a half versus the Phillies. I love this pick for tomorrow, but this isn't until Monday. Um, so I don't want to waste that as one of the picks for today when I can just add that as a pick for tomorrow. Um, but the only MLB pick for today that I'm really liking that's on the board is Framber Valdez over four and a half strikeouts. The Twins were the worst team in the league for striking out this, se this season, averaging over 10 strikeouts per game. And when we take a look at our partner's outlier for this research and we go to strikeouts, we can see Valdez is around minus 110 odds on sports books. It's only showing DraftKings odds right now. But over his last five, he's went over this number in four of five. Last 10, seven of 10. <sighs> Excuse me. In the head-to-head, -head, he's went, up, went over that number in two out of three, which he hasn't gone against them this season yet. So there's no really telling this season. Um but with the Twins striking out a ton this season, I would assume he would average over that. And then finally, 2023, he's went over this number in 24 of 31 games, 77% of the time. So I know it's playoffs. A lot of people are really weary about taking pitchers because they get pulled early. But I'm liking the spot for Valdez. It's pretty much the only spot for pitchers that I'm actually really liking. Other than Montgomery, but you're not going to take him on prize picks. It would be sport, uh, a sportsbook bet only because um, he's plus money. But loving this area for Valdez. Highly recommend taking it. And that's the one MLB play that I do like for today. Next, we can go over to NFL. And I guess I'll do this in order of like favorite to least favorite. Um... But yeah, so we'll start off. We're going to go Trevor Lawrence under under 248.5 passing yards. This is down to like 246.5 on underdog. Um, I think it's going to get even lower in other places um, as time goes on before these games starts. We can take a look and search Trevor Lawrence. Under 246.5, it's even down on here. So that means most sports books have it at 246.5. It's around minus 115 odds on sports books for that. You can see the line's been moving up and down all day um, or all week this past week. 10 minutes ago is when it moved from 247.5 to 246.5. And um, 
I really like taking the under here. We can see Trevor Lawrence has failed to exceed 248.5 passing yards in nine of his last 12 games against teams with the top 10 defense. And we can see that he's against Buffalo and they're only allowing 170 passing yards per game this season thus far. They're ranked fourth in the league for their passing yards allowed. And I just don't think they're going to allow Trevor Lawrence to get that today. Um, you can see the four games he's played this season, he stayed under in three out of four. The one over, only going over by around 30 yards. I think he's going to stay at around 200, maybe even less today. So I'm really liking this play. I'm locking it in with confidence. And then next in line, I have McCaffrey. Um, I think a lot of people are on this play today, which is making me a little bit nervous because typically when a lot of people are on one play, um, it misses. But I'm liking, I'm liking Christian McCaffrey today over 79 and a half rushing yards versus Dallas. Um, we can take a look, search him up as well. Over 79 and a half rushing yards is around minus 115 on sports books, minus 120 on um, Caesars. It really depends on the sports books. Dallas is middle of the pack. They're 16th for rushing yards allowed. They're allowing around 112 rushing yards per game, which is a little bit iffy. But then when you scroll all the way down, you can see insights. Christian McCaffrey has exceeded 79 and a half rushing yards in four straight games after a win with almost 100 rushing yards per game on average. This year, he's gone over in all four games that he's played in with the lowest amount being 85 versus the Giants and the highest amount being 152 versus Pittsburgh. So definitely really like this line tonight versus Dallas. I know they're kind of in the middle for rushing yards um, allowed per game. Uh, this did open up at 73 and a half. It's went up a ton, but I'm liking it at 79 and a half or 78 and a half if you can find it for that as well. I'm taking that one with confidence. Highly recommend you take this as well. And then next in line, we have Pacheco. He's been a lot of, a lot of talk about him this year. Um, they are versus Minnesota. We'll take a look on Outlier at his stats as well. We're taking his over 56 and a half rushing. It's around minus 110 odds on sports books. Um, and we'll take a look. They're allowing, so the Vikings allow around 111 rushing yards allowed per game, ranked 15th for rushing yard defense. And we'll take a look at 2023. Three out of four games this season, he's went over. He went 70, 62. And then finally, 115 in his last game. Excuse me, I apologize. Um, we can see that the rushing attempt share for his team, he has 55 rushing attempts compared to the second place being 25 for CEH. Um, he has a 47% rushing share percentage. So absolutely love this play for him today, especially because I think they're going to be running the ball quite a bit. Um, and I'm going to take that over today versus the Vikings. And then finally, our least favorite play, but still I do love this play, is a chain. I'm assuming that's how you say that. Um, over 52 and a half rushing yards. We actually got this at 50 and a half. So this is already bumped by two rushing yards. I posted this play around an hour ago. So this is already being bumped. Um, so make sure to get this in as fast as possible, guys. But he's versus the Giants. We'll take a look at him on Outlier 52.5. It's around minus 125 on DraftKings, minus 137 on Caesars. The Giants suck for rushing yards allowed. They're ranked 25th in the league, averaging 133 rushing yards allowed. We can see that. Excuse me. Devon has the second most on his team with 27 rushing attempts this season, which is a 24% rushing share percentage. And we can see this year he's gone over in two out of three. He went 203 rushing yards and then 101. He only needs 52 and a half, guys. Highly recommend taking this today. I'm taking it, especially versus the Giants defense. I think that he can easily get this. And I'm taking it with confidence. So these are my top five plays for NFL, one MLB. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know if you're going to tell any of these picks. And guys, hit that thumbs up button. We went from getting like 4,000 views to our last one. Didn't even break 1,000. So make sure to share some love, guys. Get this video out there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next video.